So this is going to be exciting. Yeah? I mean, I'm thinking, you know, a thousand dollars pack, gullwing doors, something exciting. I'll, I'll stop you there. It's more, more economical. Think, think people's car. Come on. OK. Sono Motors was founded in 2016 when its three founder members spotted a gaping hole in the EV market. They designed, developed and built a prototype and they're now ready to start producing this, the Scion. It might look like an ordinary EV, but behind these recyclable plastic body panels lurks an innovation that could revolutionize the way people power their cars. But before I let Jason in on the secret, I want to get his take on the styling. Jason, what do you reckon to this then? I mean, the first thing I notice is he's quite boxy. It's a minivan. Yeah. Everything's an SUV now. Minivans are coming back. I'm not convinced, are you? Uh, no, I'm not. No, not at the moment. All right, well, let me help you out. Give you a few of the key specs on this thing. It will do 190 miles on a single charge. Yeah, that's okay. Right, and here's how you charge it, right? The charge port is at the front. Right. It folds down, and then you've got Ooh, there's a bit going on so there. many different port options. This one is a Type 2 that you can actually use to plug in other electric cars and charge them up at 11 kilowatts. Well, that's quicker than a normal wall box, isn't exactly. It? Let me show you the boot because this is properly good. Check this out, right? Bosh. 650 litres. And because of the shape, right. it's so easy to load stuff in there. I could see that Jason was still puzzled about why this was a revolutionary vehicle. So, time to drop the first little bombshell. What the hell is that? Oh, oh. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> I I like it. I want to know what is it. It's moss. What, what's that doing in the car? <laughs> Basically, so it's a natural filter. It's like a magnet, but for filth. So it absorbs all the pollution and the CO2 that's emitted by other cars, petrols and diesels, and takes it out of the cabin before you have a chance to breathe it in. So it's like a trendy-looking on-view HEPA filter-ish type thing. Looks cool, though, doesn't it? I, I do quite like the look of it. You like it, don't you? Go on, level with me. What do you think? I mean, it's just a new electric vehicle with some trendy moss and quite boxy sides. Right, I thought you'd be like this. So here's what I'm going to do. Right. I'll take you outside. Yep. I'm going to show you the number one feature in this car. Oh, so it's not the moss, Oh, though. no, no, it gets better. Right, Jason, there's a reason I wanted to bring you out into the sun to reveal the pièce de résistance. I've clocked it. You clocked it? Yeah, no. Solar-powered car, mate. Covered in solar panels. Look at that. 248 solar panels integrated into the car's bodywork mean that the Scion can be driven independently of the grid. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. It's clever. It's clever. They reckon that you can harvest around 15 miles a day of free energy, just like that. Uh, Joe, I'm quite impressed. That they managed to integrate it pretty well, haven't they? It's kind of genius, isn't it, really? And here's the really clever bit. If you install the Scion charging box, then you can actually power your home for up to a week at a time just from your car's battery. We also have to remember that not everybody has access to a charging point at home. So this car, without the need to plug in every day, you can leave it parked outside your house sure, without that's, having to that's plug a, in. So, yeah, there is a hole in the market for this. Clever. Clever. Do you want to have a drive? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, come on. See, now I like the moss even more now. <laughs> <laughs> because this car is just a test mule, it isn't road legal. So our drive is confined to the private roads of this industrial estate. What do you reckon? Woo. It's like an electric car. It does, doesn't it? That feels very normal. Yeah. I guess it is. It is normal, isn't it? So it's got 160 horsepower, 270 newton meters of torque. Top three. 86 miles an hour. Well, it's not very quick, is it? It's not very quick, but who needs to go quicker than 86 miles an hour in this sort of car? Nothing about the Scion is conventional, right down to the way the project's been funded. So apparently they did have some big investors, but they went their separate ways and they decided to go, go down the crowdfunding route instead. And how much did they crowdfund? They managed to get 14,000 people to invest, and on average, they dropped three grand per person on this car. 14,000 Four, deposits? 14,000. So oh, they're mate. aiming to make 14,000 cars in the first year on sale. Ambitious. Are you sure that's just moss? <laughs> <laughs> with a pot of £42 million to play with, Sono have taken over the old Saab factory in Sweden to produce the Scion. The first cars are due to be delivered in 2023. It is, Who knows? It is quite compelling, though, because it costs, guess the price, £21,000, which is pretty reasonable for an electric car of this yeah. size, like a Vauxhall Corsa E. Uh, or a Zoe is well over 25 grand. Yeah, I was going to say, it. it's yeah. like 25, 26 grand. So to have decent range, decent space, and the ability 
to charge your car for free mm. for 21k kind of makes sense at launch the scion will only be available in left-hand drive but sono are also considering a uk friendly version once they've produced the initial run of 14,000 cars other manufacturers are taking this technology seriously and solar panels are likely to become commonplace on evs in the future